Hey guys, this is this will be a model review of a John Deere John Deere 909KH made by Ertl in 150th scale. I have two. I showed you the unboxing of this one yesterday. Um because this one is falling apart surprisingly. This I don't know if this is the manufacturing's fault. Manufacturer's fault. But let's move on. So we're gonna make this quick. I don't know, there's only have a certain amount of time I'm allowed. So start with the boom and stick. The boom and stick have nice hydraulic cylinders. I don't know about anybody else's, but he's probably the best. You have to be careful with this one because if you um, put this stick down the wrong way or fold it up, you're gonna have you're gonna break your hydraulic cylinder. Cylinder, sorry. Um, that's the boom and stick fully out. That's the yeah. That's the boom and stick fully out. Just watch when you put this in. So what I usually do is I put my hand on top of it and go like this. And now for its depth, I don't want to say digging depth because it's not an excavator. It's stupid tripod. Its digging depth is a nice, nice digging depth. Um, it goes past my block here. So it's right there on my block. But that's its digging depth for it. Cylinders are good enough to hold any pose, like this one over here. Uh, move this up. Going back here, there are hydraulic lines. Okay, there are hydraulic lines. But they're not the best. I, I can see better. Um, but anyway, the hy hydraulic lines come from inside here I'll get to this engine in a minute come from inside here go up in through the top into the uh, connection point where the boom and stick meet go underneath the stick into these wire cables here and go into the water to, uh, processing head um, the war the processing head is nice if you if you have any kind of answer for what this you know, little thing is here it would be great it does hold it will hold your logs like this holds my connects piece <laughs> it, it does work trust me um, you got your sorry little saws in here and these do work there's three hydraulic cylinders on here actually two for the these and one right here um, it does have a nice range of movement um, now I gotta make this quick here. So, let's move on to the car body. Um, there is, there is a nice engine. Your, ex your exhaust right here. Um, these, there's two doors that open here. Your radiation. I should really be having that closed. These doors. Your radiation, your exhaust, your, your other, um, parts to an engine. You got two uh, fire extinguishers there. There is a nice cab. Nice little cab. Just to see. Um, you do have two catwalks. Or no, sorry. One catwalk. One for this part right here. You have to be careful with these doors. But there are nice decals throughout the thing. Nice um, uh, counterweight logo decal and your reflectors nice um, grills um, they're not etched they're simulated but not etched but there's nice decals you got your lights here okay your lights there down here and then there's one here uh, I like the rivets on the uh, the cab ice metal tracks roll really well not spring loaded Okay, they're not spring loaded. Um, it does turn a full 360 easily. And one more good thing about it is that there's two more hydraulics here that will like give you a nice range of motion going up or down a hill. Um, you just gotta be careful putting it back. And it does tilt left or right, but you gotta be careful. Because I already broke the hydraulics on this one. Um, 
it does have it does work on paper you see that it does work on paper um, yeah so there there it is it does work um, not it's really not too much here on the bottom nothing too much um, you see two screws a manufacturer information um, yeah that's about it um, I think it covered everything yeah so there's a model review of a deer 909 kh by Ertl and this is coming to you coming from JNR contracting oh, please <clears throat> Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if I don't see, if I don't make any videos by Thanksgiving, have a wonderful Thanksgiving and Black Friday.